U.S. Air Force tests the most dangerous store breaker bomb. The GBU-53B, previously known as the Small Diameter Bomb II, is an American air-launched precision-guided glide bomb that is 69 inches long, 6 to 7 inches in diameter, weighs 204 pounds, and carries a 105-pound warhead. In this video, we'll deep dive into the development of the Stormbreaker. The GBU-53B can guide itself toward the moving target during the initial search phase and receives course correction updates using a Link 16 over the UHF data link. Stay till the end because we're telling you about the $250 million contract awarded by the U.S. Air Force to the Raytheon Missiles and Defense. History and Operation The original Small Diameter Bomb, or SDB, was developed by Boeing and made for static targets. In 2006, the development was started for the SDB-2 bomb that could identify and strike mobile targets at large distances and in extreme weather conditions. It was installed on the F-15E Strike Eagle and will be integrated into the F-A-18 Hornet and F-35 Lightning fighters. Its first flight was announced on May 1, 2009, and a contract was awarded to Raytheon to start low-rate initial production in June 2015. The bomb is developed and manufactured by Raytheon. On July 17, 2012, the SDB-2 successfully engaged and hit a moving target during a flight test at the White Sands Missile Range after the bomb was dropped from an F-15E Strike Eagle. In January 2013, four SDB-2s were integrated into the weapons bay of an F-35 Lightning II alongside an AIM-20 AMRAAM missile. The successful fit check verified that the SDB-2 was compatible with the F-35 and gave sufficient clearance in sweeps of inboard and outboard bay doors. SDB-2's live fire tests were conducted against moving targets on September 2014 and February 2015. These live fire tests were successful and helped the Air Force to make a milestone C decision, leading to entering low rate initial production, or LRIP. Have you ever wondered how the Stormbreaker acquires its target? By using a combination of millimeter wave active radar homing, semi active laser guidance, infrared homing, GPS coupled inertial guidance, and data link, the bomb is proven to strike stationary targets at 69 miles and moving targets at 45 miles. The weapon can fuse the information from the sensors to classify the target and when used in semi-autonomous mode, it can prioritize targets as desired. The shaped charge warhead in the bomb has blast and fragmentation effects that make it destructive against infantry armor, including MBTs, unhardened structures and buildings, along with patrol craft-sized boats and other soft targets. Another advantage of the Stormbreaker is its networking capabilities as it can be launched through one platform and controlled by another. This will help the U.S. military as it aims to connect sensors, platforms, and weapon systems across the traditional domains of land, air, sea, and space. F-15E Strike Eagle can carry a total of 28 GBU-53B using seven BRU-61A suspension units, each carrying four bombs. Similarly, eight bombs along with two AIM-20 AMRAAM missiles can be carried in the weapons bay of the F-22 Raptor or the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 aircraft will be able to carry these bombs after it receives the Block 4 software package in 2022. The size of the SDB-2 bomb rack was inappropriate and did not fit inside the smaller F-35B weapons bay, and minor adjustments will be provided to coincide with the software package. An F-35 could carry 24 total bombs, 8 internally and 16 externally. Do you guys know that the United States Air Force plans to use the bomb on the F-15E Strike Eagles as a no-drive zone enforcement weapon? The U.S. Navy and U.S. Marines thought of an idea to utilize the bombs on their versions of the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. In October 2020, the Air Force approved the weapon for operational flight on the F-15E. The Navy plans to first integrate the SDB-2 onto their F-A-18 Super Hornet jets and then onto the F-35B and C fighters. The F-35 program was experiencing continued delays, so the U.S. Department of Defense decided to change their integration strategy with the help of L-3 Harris BRU-55 Smart Multiple Carriage Racks on F-A-18EF and help the U.S. Navy to store and fire the SDB-2. The L-3 Harris BRU-55A Smart Rack enables the aircraft to carry two MIL STD-1760 smart weapons, such as the SDB-2, on each weapon station. 
The electronic control assembly and digital communications from the aircraft to the weapon are monitored by the BRU-55 canted vertical ejector rack attached to the BRU-32A bomb ejector rack connected to the SUU-79 pylons and then to the aircraft fuselage. The BRU-55 was developed as part of the MK-82 Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, program, and it will be tested using the FA-18EF midboard weapon stations, followed by testing SDB-2 and BRU-55 on inboard stations. The subsequent step will be to perform testing on the BRU-61A Type II Universal Armament Interface, or UAI, pneumatic rack, which will act as the primary store system for the F-35. The BRU-61A will be utilized for the integration of the F-35B and F-35C. The BRU-61A is a pneumatic multi-stores carriage system produced by Koba Mission Systems. Every weapon station will be able to carry four SDB-2s. Pneumatic ejection is used by the BRU-61A, which ejects the stores using compressed air, contrary to previous systems which depend on pyrotechnic cartridges. If you have reached this far in the video, we would like to thank you. Be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content like this. The United States Air Force has awarded Raytheon Missiles in Defense a $250 million contract modification for work on the GBU-53B Stormbreaker Small Diameter Bomb II, or SDB-2. This new contract will cover all the aspects including the design, development, integration, test, and production engineering for changes to the SDB-2 GBU-53B technical and production baseline. This contract will also increase the total cumulative face value of the contract to $700 million. This work is expected to be completed by Raytheon by August 2027. This contract was awarded by the United States Air Force after its 391st Fighter Squadron became the first operational unit to use the GBU-53B. After the bomb was approved for use on the F-15E in 2020, the service and Raytheon dropped 14 Stormbreaker weapons during the 2021 Weapon System Evaluation Program. The GBU-53B will obliterate any target in its way. What do you guys suggest? Be sure to watch our other video, Switchblade, U.S. suicide drone used to destroy tanks from Russia.